Hi there again YouTube, uh, what we're going to do today is uh, take a look at a few things that I've uh, recently put up for sale on eBay. Um, mostly Blu-rays, um, a couple of HD DVDs and even some Star Wars. Uh, so first of all we'll get the HD DVDs out of the way because I know not everybody's interested in these although it's still kind of a following for them. Um, so firstly we've got P2, a film that was never officially released on HD DVD. Um, it had a release scheduled and quite obviously the, uh, the discs were created and packaged and sealed up and stored in a warehouse ready for the release and then the format war ended and HD DVD or Toshiba threw in the towel and that was it. Um, the release was pulled. He sat languishing in a warehouse for a couple of years at least uh, until I guess uh, who is it? Summit. Yeah, uh, they must have liquidated them. And uh, eventually, um, I know another distributor whose name I can't remember. I remember seeing them online at the time. Were uh, distributing them um, in bulk. Um, to I guess smaller distributors, be it for eBay or Amazon or wherever. And eventually, they made their way out into the wild. I know at one point these were quite expensive. Um, but eventually they found their, their own market and it's still a fairly rare release, but um, they're about. But anyway, yeah, P2. Uh, and we've got The Matador, a film that I've actually never seen. Um, Piers Brosnan. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, the unrated director's cut. Um, and these, by the way, these are all US releases and they never had a release in the UK um, but there's no region coding on HD DVD so they'll, you know, they'll work on the UK HD DVD players um, yeah Dawn of the Dead unrated director's cut this is the 2003 or 4 whenever it was remake if it's not a remake as such um, it's its own film it's Really good. I really like this film. I prefer George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, um, but this film is really good. Um, yeah. Uh, Star Wars. I have two of these. Um, obviously, one I'm keeping in my own collection, but uh, I thought it's might as well time to sell this one. So we've got the original trilogy. This is a VCD box set. We've got the three original films. Although they are the special editions, not the the original versions. Uh, but each one comes with a two discs. Yeah, some uh, Star Wars on BC video CD. Then on to the Blu-rays. Uh, some Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, or however you want to pronounce it. So firstly we've got Arietti. Um, this is the limited edition Digipack. Let's do this set. This uh, skew if, but uh, unfortunately, there we go. So they pretty much match up with the picture. Yeah. That's a nice artwork on there. Oh, no, not so much there, but there and there. Obviously with the slip cover, 
and then a similar set for Ponyo and Blu ray and DVD. And a digi pack. We got this once again a skew with, but there we go. Very DVD. I did have a third one of these um, for the wind rises, um, but that sold last night unfortunately, so I can't show you that because it went out in the post this morning. Uh, and then some steel books, uh, some arrow steel books. So I've decided to pull the trigger. Um, all of these, I believe, I own in at least one other arrow version. Um, I don't need any of these. Um, and they're just sack gathering dust. Um, there are some of those steel books up there. I've got. I did have them on here, and they were bending the shelf. So I've put them in a slightly uh, shorter section up there. I've lost my train of thought again. Um, yeah, so these and a few of those. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm keeping some. There are some up there that I don't have any other Arrow copies of. Things like um, Phantom of the Paradise and uh, Porky's and Pit in the Pendulum and um, what else have I got? Um, Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, and on top of that, there are some that I do own, but I'm keeping just because I love the artwork. Um, things like The Beyond, uh, City of the Living Dead, um, Zombie Flesh Eaters, all the full G ones. <laughs> Um, Tenebrae, uh, Maniac Cop, I'm keeping all of those, um, but uh, as I go through the rest I'll be, I'll be selling them eventually. Um, but for now, these are all the sealed ones, or still sealed that I own. So, uh, get rid of uh, Blade of the Immortal, which I've never seen, Bride of Reanimator, um, I have both the standard Amray release and the limited edition release of that one. Um, also with Donnie Darko, uh, I've got the slipcover and the limited edition. Driller Killer, um, I don't think there's a limited edition of this but I do have the standard Amray version. Hellraiser, um, this is one of the few that I really don't like the artwork at all. Um, so this is one that I won't miss, um, and I've got the the box set of Hellraiser, not the uh, Scarlet box set, unfortunately, just the standard. That's all I need. Um, the Hills of Eyes. Um, I don't hate this artwork, but I don't love it. I prefer the other one. Um, but again, I've got the limited edition, and I think. Uh, just looking on the shelf now, I, I'm, I could have sworn I had the standard Amory, but I can't see it. So I'm wondering, maybe I don't have that, so maybe I've only got the limited edition of that one. Uh, the Longer Friday, I've got the limited edition Bob Hoskins box set, but not the standard Amory as yet. Society again, just the limited edition box set. The Thing, again, just the limited edition box set. And finally, The Voices, uh, an awesome, awesome movie. Uh, this really did surprise me. Uh, again, I've just got the, the Amory release. Um, I think the Amory release of this I've seen recently in Poundland as well. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, Short-ish and sweet um, stuff I've put on eBay. Uh, actually, the Star Wars, I don't think I've uploaded yet. I've got the pictures up, got the pictures done and the the uh, description together. I just haven't actually set it to go live, um, so that'll probably do today. But the rest are all as as I'm recording are live uh, and up for sale. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Ta. -ra.